two, there we go. I think we have a new participants, almost two. Yep. Nice. And we'll give it a minute because. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll give it some time. Yeah. Mark, you look like you're out on the street somewhere. <laughs> Hi. There you go. Welcome. Thank you. No, I'm actually yeah. outside on the deck that Denise sold me. Oh, <laughs> see that? that's perfect. All right. I, I thought we were getting a street view, so that was perfect. All right, good. Yeah, it does look like I'm outside of the Abel Baker or something, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Good. It looks so nice. What a beautiful day to be on your nice deck. Look at this. Oh. Oh, that looks great. That space. Yeah, that's good. It's so cool that you guys are doing these. I know. It's really exciting, actually. Vanessa was just saying yesterday, it's like we've leapt forward 10 years um, technologically. Yeah. We're all going to adapt. Are people requesting the recordings of Zoom as well so they can see it at a later date? I think so, yeah. And um, I think we'll use it for marketing because I, I think going forward, this will be the new norm for a while. <laughs> and, and it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I agree. Mark, you're, you're right. This is, I mean, e even if a ton of people don't come on, that's what, you know, we had a lot of other uh, viewings of the one that Vanessa did. Um, you know, a lot of people just wait and then they watch the recording, really. Yeah. So. yeah. Hey, D, I have, uh, I can put it up in the chat if that's helpful, just like what the mortgage payment would be, any financing stuff would like, you know, 5%, 10%, 15% down just to give an idea as to, hey, Here's how the numbers would look with taxes, insurance, and everything included. That would be amazing. So that will be, I mean, at least it'll be in there for people to at least view. Yeah, yeah. We will, um, we'll definitely circle back to that, especially now. Because what are rates as of yesterday? <laughs> if you're 510, if the loan amount is 510 and below, it's at mm -hmm. three and an eighth on a 30 year fix, which is low, right? So, um, for every $10,000 at that number, it's about a, I wrote it down, it's a $44 difference for every $10,000. So not a dramatic number, but um, from, from 510 to 765, it's three and three eighths. Yeah. So still a low number. Free so, money. Yes, almost. <laughs> Buy, we should all be buying more houses. Why are you not buying? It's, it's, they're giving these away. When you compare it to rent and everything else that goes on with living in the city and everything like that, it pretty much is free. Yeah. I um, have to say, then, my two best friends who live in the city and they are die hard city dwellers. They both text today and were like, is everyone coming out to the suburbs? And I was like, come <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Now's the time. Yeah. So. There's articles everywhere. You can't really, I mean, there, for whatever reason, there's a, it seems like a pretty big exodus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not too shabby out here. I mean, look at Mark on his deck. I know. <laughs> That's right, Mark. I can complain. <laughs> Mark, I don't even know you and it caught my eye. Just like, you know, you looked very casual there. You're like, I'm just going <laughs> to pop into this open house for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was completely spontaneous as well. Oh, that's good. It's a great way to spend an afternoon. Get a sense as to what's going on locally. Yeah. That's um, good. We're just going to wait a couple more, just a, two or three more minutes, just to see if some more people are, are jumping on here. Um, yeah. Uh, if everybody, um, uh, just so you know, once, and it's Denise Payne, not Vanessa Pollock. She's on, <laughs> it's the Vanessa Pollock team, uh, you know, uh, Zoom account. So she's got yeah. his name there. But um, as soon as she starts, I'm going to be manning the chat board here. So please, please feel free to just start chatting and um, I'll get those questions out to Denise as we go. So, you know, we'll wait here a couple more minutes. Um, yeah. If anybody has any questions while we're waiting, just in general uh, for Denise or for Matt, um, and Brad here is also on our team and can uh, answer any questions. So please feel free. And Kevin is a phenomenal co-host. Just a Kevin is also on our team. He's an agent on our team. I don't know what we would do without him. He is well, one of our incredible support systems. So he is going to help us along on this new journey of virtual. Well, as, 
as everyone's trying to find places in their house to that are quiet without kids screaming, I'm down in the basement. I dressed it up with an American flag just to get some <laughs> just to get some color in here. But uh, it looks like I'm in some kind of uh, you know prepper bunker or something. But uh, uh, but this is that's all. I'm just working with what I've got, guys. So <laughs> it could double uh, through Gus's dorm room. You know? exactly. I look like I'm in a dorm room right now, exactly. I need, like, a, hey, what's I need, up? I just got back yeah, to class. Hey, and, hey. Yeah, I, need, I need to get like a Pink Floyd poster over here. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. you know. Black light exactly. and some, some more posters. Get a black light, you know. A black light. Black light's going to be perfect for Zoom. Yeah, I'm going to do that. What, that's, you, that's, take an em, you take an empty liquor bottle, <laughs> open up a highlighter, and put it in the bottle with some water. It'll be like, that'll glow. Like, there it is. Please. There it is. You've gone to college, I see. I have. Yeah. Um, hey, Matt, what, just as people are coming in, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? And you were just explaining uh, some of the rates these days, and that'll be something good to... Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Keen. I work for Guaranteed Rate. So um, I specialize in the residential mortgage financing piece of things for the past 24 years. Um, what I did was I ran specific numbers on this house today, just from a listing price, and I'll put them in the chat board that this way, if you want to go in there and view them. But at this price point, you could buy with as little as 5% down. So they do it in 5% increments. So 5% um, of the 649, which would end up being around $32,000 plus the closing costs you'd want to budget. So if you had a $50,000 budget, that would probably be like your you know, your, your threshold to be able to make this house an opportunity. Um, and I ran numbers with 5% down, 10% down, 15% down, and then 20% down. Uh, the, at the high end, with a 5% down payment, the house would run just under $4,200 a month. And that's with taxes, insurance, everything included. So your simple takeaway would be, all right, $50,000, that would allocate enough for a down payment and more than enough for the closing costs. And that would basically give you a payment of forty-one ninety-one a month. So that's kind of like your starting point. And then from there, if you put down an additional five percent, you can get the payment down to like third, un, just under four thousand. The fifteen percent would be just around thirty-eight hundred. And then if you're doing twenty percent down, um, I believe I ran that number, but I will confirm and I will put that up there. But it's, uh, but I'll put that up on the chat board along with my contact in information. And if you have any questions on financing or rates or anything like that, uh, you could just text me or put it on the chat board. All right, good. Thank you. Well, um, this is Denise Payne, as I said to anyone that didn't hear before. It's not Vanessa Pollock, but it is the Vanessa <laughs> Pollock team and the Vanessa Pollock team uh, Zoom account. So um, this is Denise Payne, one of our really the greatest agent that we've ever had. So uh, she is really phenomenal. Um, and so take it away, Dee. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Matt. I just want to say a, a little word on Matt because we've been working together now for about a year and a half, two years. I don't know, time flies. He's been an incredible part of our team. He is somebody that I recommend to everybody. So do not hesitate to reach out to Matt with any questions. He's an excellent resource. Um, so, oh, I think I hear people coming in. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, good. I'm just doing a Zoom open house right now. So I will let you follow me. <laughs> So we have real um, open house stores. I like this. This is like the impromptu yeah, uh, exactly. on the fly. This is good. This spices it up a little bit. Nice. I promise I did not pay them to show up. Um, so I'm very, very, and actually if everyone just can mute themselves just so that speaker view is very large for you so you can kind of get a feel for the whole house. Um, I'm so excited to be here today because as we know, it's been a very strange time. And this is kind of our new normal. And we realize that virtually is the way we're going to be able to present these homes to people that are either in the city and can't get out yet, or maybe they've gone to be with family elsewhere. But this is a way for you to stay in touch and really still be able to keep them on the market, um, maybe if you can't do it in person. So any questions you have, I'm not Vanessa Pollock. I'm nowhere near as tall, and she's gorgeous and leggy. But I am the short version um, of the team. <laughs> so I'm going to show you around this house I walked into for the first time last year. 
I did a listing appointment for the family who had owned it since 1965. And it was an incredibly special family, beloved by all their neighbors. They raised three children in this home who are now adults, so I worked with them. It was such an honor to help them through that process. And what I do have to say is during that listing appointment, the love they felt in this house and for this house, I mean, there were tears shed at the listing appointment. It was so moving. And um, their neighbors were stopping in to say hello as they were here and clearing out their parents' things. And it was just a, a really beautiful way to see the community and how it comes together in this sweet neighborhood. So like attracts like, um, we sold that house to another incredible family, and they are a local family who saw it come on the market, and they knew this neighborhood and knew how special it was, and they have been considering investing in a property, and they snapped this one up, and I am just so lucky to be working with them now. They have breathed new life into this place. They've kept the charm. Um, they've made it so light and airy, and... It, it always had great bones, but now it's just so beautiful. And I'm really, really thrilled that you'll get to see what they've done now. So I'm gonna take you around, hopefully not make you sick, um, as some people have Zoom nausea. So if I turn, Kevin, am I up right now? Sorry, I know you're muted. I am, okay, great. Yeah, you are, you can, you can see that way. Although Dee, I think maybe, for this, I think maybe being sideways might be better. Really? Okay. Let me switch sideways. So here's the front door. I just wanted to head to the front so you got a feel. There is, are you sure sideways? I feel like sideways, right? You do whatever well, you want to we'll do. We'll switch. Yeah, we so can this switch is, around. This is entry closet. So when you walk in the door, this is where you would kick off your shoes and your coats. And then this is your first view. We were, um, we were able to stage this house this week. Um, the Vanessa Pollock, who is <laughs> kind of the master of all trades, came in and mask and gloves and she and her husband and Kevin um, staged it. And it's really beautiful. What I love about this house is it's so unique. It's not your everyday center hall colonial. We see a million of those here in Maplewood South Orange because we have a lot of 1920s and 1930s architecture. So this house was built approximately 1952, 1953. So this is a much more open feel, which is lovely. It's bright, it's not compartmentalized. Um, these huge windows, I mean, you can see, it's the cutest neighborhood ever. Look at the kids outside on their scooters. Um, safely distancing themselves from each other. But it is a very vibrant neighborhood actually. And this is the place to be at Halloween. Um, it intersects with Kendall, which is known as, as the Halloween street. So you walk in, you have a full living space here. And I love that there's a lot of options as far as how to actually um, furnish. We made this the dining room, which I love. And they opened up this wall which makes such a huge difference and there's also entrance into the kitchen here so the family who lived here previously had bumped this out at some point and they added this beautiful um, wood-burning uh, fireplace I'm just trying to give you as much view as possible and it's just these gorgeous cathedral ceilings so open so you have a whole other living space back here and another dining space, which is really great for entertaining. And then this gorgeous bay window, so you can see over your yard. I don't know how many of you are maybe in the city and quarantined right now, but you know, I think we're all realizing how precious home is to us now and space. So it is nice to have a deck and a yard and and some breathing room. So this is the kitchen. It is all open um, and they did such a lovely job. It's all new appliances. Again, this is a view of the fireplace and just very spacious, a ton of storage. They left the brick detail, which I love and um, just brought some new life to it. I'm gonna take you to the backyard because it's so cute. 
And the other thing I should say, and I'll take you out the front, is that we are so close to what we like to call Secret Park here, which is Orchard Park. It's about a block and a half, two block walk, but you can't really see it from the streets. Not everybody knows it exists. So you not only have a little park in your backyard, but you're walkable to one of the cutest, sweetest parks in all of Maplewood. So there's this gorgeous deck. And then we're gonna go down the stairs here. And just really, really great space out here. You'll put a nice garden over there. And even with this bump out, it's actually quite large. So, and shady too, which it's actually warm today, which I'm so thankful for. The sun, everybody, I hope you get some vitamin D today. Um, I'm so thankful for the sun and it, it's warm. So the shade back here is actually really, really nice. So let's go back in. And the other really cool thing about this house is it's a Cape Cod. So when you walk this way on the first floor, there are two bedrooms. You don't have to use them as bedrooms. Um, the previous owners, before these owners, they used this, it was her office. And um, she was a beloved drama teacher, um, an English teacher. And this whole room was filled with bookshelves of the most incredible books and artwork and um, it's a very big spacious room so this absolutely could be a master bedroom as well or a den um, it does have a closet so there's tons of uses for this space again it's so bright in here it's really it's such a happy home this we have staged as an office um, and this Absolutely could be a bedroom. There's two windows. And then I'll show you the closet here. There you go. So two bedrooms. And then here is the bathroom. A funny story about this bathroom. It's I think it's gorgeous. And when I saw it, I said to the owner, I just renovated my bathroom to look exactly like this. And we had the same inspiration picture off of Instagram that we had chosen. It's Carp and Daughter, if anyone wants to follow her on Instagram. But it was just so funny. I saw this and I was like, that's my bathroom. Um, so she has great taste. We both have great taste. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got these uh, hexagon tiles and the walnut. It's just everything we really want these days, right next to this sweet linen closet. So I'm going to take you upstairs and then we'll visit the basement and out front. So again, I swing around this way so you can see how these windows look. They're just huge. And there's new windows in the whole home. They've redone these floors. They are gorgeous. And what you can't see when you're not here is how sturdy this house is. So we have a lot of creaky houses in Maplewood. Um, this is solid. <laughs> this is rock solid, 1952. Um, they had different codes, I think, on structure. So it's just a really, really well-built home. This was um, the master bedroom when I sold this last year. It's huge. It's great space. It's bright. I love this nook here. This is, you know, characteristic of a Cape Cod, these dormers, and they're adorable. I also love how they make use of that space and um, added storage. Nice big closet, which you don't always get in a colonial, so that's really nice to have. And there's also some access there for storage, which is really nice. I'm going to try to back up so you can get a really good view of this. So that is this room. So that could be master as well. I mean, you could honestly probably fit about three children in there. I'm gonna switch you this way so that I can fit through the doorway here because I have, um, I have my phone uh, attached to this. Um, so this is the upstairs bathroom. Also so beautif beautifully renovated. Um, Really sweet, very nice and clean. I love those lighting fixtures. 
And then this here, this is um, the fourth bedroom. And again, beautiful dormer, really brightly lit. These floors, all the floors up here are brand new. So they put in new floors, tons of storage, just a nice huge closet there. Um, yeah, so that's the top floor. I hope I'm not making any of you nauseous. So we're gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna show you the basement. Okay, so this, um, this is a huge bonus in this house because this is about a thousand square feet of space. Um, they've done a really good job of cleaning this up. It used to be finished, but it was very outdated. And so they opened it up and it's gorgeous. It's the ceiling height is six foot eight. So it's quite tall. Um, my advice, honestly, if you have young kids or if you want to have children, leave it like this and do tricycles down here. Do all of those toys that you can't take outside in the winter. And then when your kids are older, finish this, make this, you know, a, a family room space, a game space, a media space. And then that way your older kids, your teenagers have their own place to go and kind of be out of your way. Um, ceiling, all new lighting up there. It's really, really quite nice and large. Um, all new HVAC, central air and heat, which you know we all want to have. Brand new hot water heater. So just everything is so newly done and nicely done. There's even a storage space in here, which is nice. So if you did finish the basement, you could have that room just to hide your things, which is great. Um, updated electrical panel. So all that is brand new. Nothing to do there, which is also nice. So yeah, just a ton of extra living space down here, which is always nice. Because let me tell you, if you're coming from the city or you're coming from an apartment, you grow into a space faster than you think. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you have storage. So now I'm going to take you out front. Like I said, this street is just one of the best neighborhoods in all of Maplewood, hands down. You are um, up here is Ridgewood Road. And literally right there on the corner is a little, um, I think from what I've heard, it's considered one of the first strip malls in the United States, but it's just a little cluster of shops and Cedar Ridge the Cafe is up there and you usually see people sitting outside and eating and milk money is up there and it's just adorable. And then this is the outside of the house. It has, it's built in garage, which is great. Um, Jitney, since we do have Jitney, is super convenient here. You just walk up half block, turn left, and then walk about half a block over, and you're on St. Lawrence and um, Ridgewood, and there's the Jitney. It's about a point one mile walk. And honestly, here you're equidistant to um, downtown Maplewood and downtown South Orange. So you're walkable. You're about uh, 0.9 miles from each downtown. So it's very convenient. It's like a 15, depending on how fast you walk, it's like a 15, 20 minute walk to either train station or either downtown. So it's ideal in that way as well. So I don't think I've missed any spaces. Um, I think we can open up to questions if anyone has any. Does anyone have, um, Oh, is it possible to see inside the garage? I do see that. Yes, it is. Thank you. I will get the garage door opener actually. Here. Kevin, let me know if I'm making anyone sick. You're not, and you're doing great. And actually, Hope Chernoff said, looks beautiful. Well done, Denise. So that's the, uh, oh. 
That was one of the feedbacks. Um, and yeah, the well, thank you. looking to get into the garage. That's. <laughs> So there we are. Um, it's, it's actually quite tall in here. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, they have this storage rack here. I mean, you could put in shelving and not, I, I don't even know if I'm good at guesstimating. I would assume that's like 20 feet tall there. So a ton of storage and it's just nice and dry and clean. And I'll tell you what, I'm renting a very small Maplewood home right now as I renovate my house and I can back my Jeep into a much smaller garage than that. Don't tell my husband I ran to a ladder one time, but yes, you can back a large car into those garages. Shut her up and we'll head back in. I love this blue. I think this is like the happiest color front door. All right, anything else that people want to see again or didn't catch? If they joined late, that can return to or Those just are, um, this is um, Marshall Jefferson there? Yep, this is Marshall Jefferson, um, Maplewood Middle School. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, it's, oh, and if you do also, we, we have a digital brochure. I'm trying to turn this around here. We do have a digital brochure online at Pollock, P-O-L-L-O-C-K, homes.com slash 18 East Cedar Lane and spell out East Cedar Lane. And you know that, what, we'll, we'll send that. I think we'll be able to email that okay. out to everybody that was here. Right. Yeah, we'll make sure That's we perfect. get that. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much information on there. Um, we've obviously fleshed that out quite a bit since people aren't able to um, get our paper marketing any longer, and we just wanted everyone to have as many details as possible. Um, what else? Any other questions? What about the age of the roof? I mean, I, I know that, was that um, redone when they, you know, when they just did these renovations? I don't, I would have to check on age of roof. I don't think they had to redo it. I think it was in good shape. Yeah. Um, but I'll check on that. I'll check on age. Um, and the, and the, it seems like the, um, and we can also send people the seller disclosure. Yeah. Like yeah. That. A seller's disclosure we do do for the most part in New Jersey. You don't have to do it. Oh, um, okay. but yes, you can. There, yeah. And then that way past owners, owners can speak into what they have renovated, what they've changed, anything that they've experienced since they've lived in the house. And it's quite helpful for a buyer. Because those, um, Skylights are amazing. I know. There's a lot of I, I skylights. Mean, it really yeah. is. I'm someone who I need light in a home and I love light. And I think so many people, so many of my buyers want that. And it can be tough to find, honestly, um, especially in the 1920s and 1930s homes. So this house is huge windows and every room really front to back. Um, it's really quite bright. So it's, yeah. it is, it's a happy house. It's got such good energy. <laughs> Uh, someone was asking, um, uh, first of all, wondering what the taxes for the house are. Taxes. Everyone loves a good tax conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are just over 14. So they're actually not bad. Um, it's sad to say that because I know some of our parents and grandparents probably pay like 3000 um, But for what you get in this community and the proximity to the city, for this much space, a four bedroom, two bathroom, just over 14 is really quite reasonable. Um, we have another question about uh, if the deck was part of the renovation or if that was there previously. That was here. They did um, paint it and you know bring it back to life, but that was here before they bought it. Okay, so it's probably, it, you know, it's, it's a few years old, but you feel like it's in, and of course, you know, if you, once you had inspections and all that kind of stuff, yeah. you would, you would find that out, but it seems like. Yeah. It solid. I mean, it feels solid. I don't feel like, it doesn't feel like it's rocky, but yes, you will always have and always should have a very thorough home inspection. And they will look at not only the structure of the home, they'll look at the structure of the deck and the roof and your systems. And that will be across the board, um, what every buyer should and will do. 
Any other yeah, questions? I know. I know it's uh, it really is a cute house, and and I I love that area. And you're right about Kendall, which is right off of there being you know Halloween Street. Um, and this is a it's a really great sort of you get the best of both worlds because Kendall's like a, a little bit of more of a thoroughfare, and this mm -hmm. is this it's a it's a nice little side street that is so beautiful. Um, yeah. So we have another question. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, a couple more. Uh, given yeah. the current situation, how would you go ahead and close on the house with inspections, etc.? So why don't exactly. you talk? We're doing that a lot. So go ahead. Yeah. Since since we have been quarantined, I have eight houses under contract. It has been a learning curve for everybody, and I think we have it down pretty much pat until unless anything else changes, but I think we're, we're going in the right direction. So inspections have been able to happen. All inspectors handle it differently. Usually they are, I mean, they're always in mask and gloves and everybody's like, I'm not today just so I didn't scare you. But everyone's always in mask and gloves and some allow the buyer with them. Some prefer to do it and then talk to the buyer about the home inspection after, but they are definitely happening. Um, when you have great lenders like Matt, you're in great shape. I would, I'm just going to say it, avoid big banks. Do not go to a big bank for a mortgage right now. They are struggling with that. They cannot handle, their systems cannot handle lending with the way they're operating from home. Whereas someone like Matt, a guaranteed rate, this was really no change for him. So that's a huge piece, one of the most important pieces of the process is your mortgage, inspections are fine. And then we've really done everything virtually and it's been great. Closings are still happening. You have to go in person to sign all of the lending documents. They cannot do that virtually, but everybody is doing it very safely and to the comfort of the buyer. Um, so yeah, it's still, life is moving forward. Hey, Dee, just uh, adding on the closing piece, what we've done is uh, in the past, you would have to sign like probably a stack of paperwork that's probably two inches thick. Now yeah. what we're doing is we're sending that to the buyer at 12.01, the day of closing. So uh -huh. when you're actually going to the closing, you're probably physically only signing about uh, a dozen or less pieces of paper that wow. the important documents. So, and yeah. you're only having the, the people that are required to be at the closing. So it, it's much easier, quicker, faster, and you get to review all your docs online as of 1201 that morning. So by the time you get to the closing, you've already seen it, you know what to sign, you're signing, you're in, you're out, you grab your keys. And with the appraisals on it, we've been doing it where most of the time we're able to just do what they call a desktop appraisal, where mm -hmm. either the appraiser doesn't need to even go in the house at all, He's just taking it from the exterior photos and from the photos online and then comping it out to other homes in the area. And that's been yeah. uh, appreciated both by the seller and everyone involved where you're not risking anybody going into a house that unnecessarily. So it's been working well. You know, and another piece of, the, another piece of that is getting the uh, certificate of occupancy from the town. Um, not to say that, you know, this is constantly changing and stuff, but Maplewood has been uh, working with people and, and, you know, helping us get those certificate of occupancies uh, that the town has to do. And a lot of times they'll do it with FaceTime and stuff like that. So that's been an important yeah. piece of the puzzle as well. Um, yeah. We have another question from Josh S. And Josh, you can yeah. never ask uh, enough questions. So don't say <laughs> sorry, asking too many questions. No, please. He was asking about the taxes again. Um, yeah. what, when was the last time that Maplewood did a tax reeval? Um, and, you know, I assume one was done when the house was renovated. So this is probably based on a recent assessment. So maybe talk a little bit about when houses are renovated and just in general, you know, the, how the taxes have been reassessed in Maplewood. We have been reassessed. The summer of 2017, they came into every home in Maplewood and evaluated each home. So our taxes then adjusted for 2018. So these are the updated taxes. There was no square footage added when they were renovated and there were no bathrooms added. So those are two of the ticket items that do increase your taxes. Um, when they do another reevaluation, will they go up? 
it's hard to know. Um, from what my attorney says, a third of the town goes up, a third stays the same, and a third goes down. And they try to fairly balance that. And you know, when they do reassess, things have changed. There may be a different dynamic in the neighborhoods. Maybe one neighborhood is selling really well, and another neighborhood is suffering, and so they adjust the taxes based on that. Um, so it has been reassessed, and it, it doesn't mean at closing that your taxes are going to go up. I mean, um, it could be wise to call the tax assessor, but yeah, there was no square footage added. Anything else? Lots. I love questions. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and these are good. He said. He said thank you. Exclamation point. Um, You're welcome, Joe. You know, and I think that was <laughs> that's actually a great. Um, way of putting that, and I have heard that before as well, is that, you know, a third go up, a third say the same, and a third go down. Um, and I've lived in Maplewood for 15 years. And, you know, of course, with death, death and taxes, your taxes will eventually, you know, go up as they do. It's not been, you know, a, an exorbitant leap. Um, and that's also something when you talk to somebody like Matt, you know, he's going to kind of figure out with you so that you can figure out what is your monthly cost going to be because a lot of the people that are moving from the city or from Jersey City or Hoboken you know they're renting and this is their first home um, especially a home like this it's a great house for a first-time buyer because it's got a lot of space but still a quaint enough house that you don't feel like you're 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 you know really taking on too much that you can handle so um, yeah somebody like Matt can really go through with you and figure out what's your monthly nut going to be, you know, and how that goes along. So. I mean, what I will say about this neighborhood, it's very, it's hard to communicate this to people that don't know Maplewood, but this neighborhood, this house would be a steal right now because normally in times where buyers can get out and we're having a lot of foot traffic and we're sometimes seeing 30 people at an open house. A house like this in this neighborhood would go in a blank. So, you know, right now at this interest rate and at this time, it's not a bad time to take advantage of it. I know it's like a very difficult time emotionally for, for a lot of us, um, but it's not a bad time to make an investment. This is a smart time to make an investment. And I think, like I said before, we are recognizing that our homes mean a lot more to us than we realize, you know, and there's, we're going to come out of this with a lot of gratitude, a lot of appreciation, a lot of new understanding of ourselves as human beings. Um, and it's not a bad time to invest in the market. You know, we saw a lot of volatility, but things have stabilized and we saw, um, the market kind of plummet around the, the beginning of April and everything that I've seen since then is the market is coming back. And I will say my buyers are reaching out to me. My sellers are reaching out to me and everybody's starting to want to come back out. And we have a lot more acceptance. We have a lot more positive information. And I think we're starting to get used to that. This is the new normal and we have to move on. Um, so this, this neighborhood would be, it's just an unbelievable. And it's also, uh, there's not a lot of uh, homes in that in that neighborhood, in that Kendall, you know, Secret Park um, area. I also can't say enough about the Secret Park. Um, yeah. But the, uh, it's in that, in that area, there are not a lot of these uh, first time home kind of newly renovated places like this. Yeah. Um, well, and honestly, when they're not newly renovated, they get multiple offers. I mean, I just saw one, this was before COVID, right before, um, around the corner. And it was, it's a beautiful home, but you know, my buyers were like, oh, we'd have to like renovate the kitchens and the bathrooms. And it's still got like eight offers, you know? And so this, this is just a coveted area. And people know it, when you go outside, the amount of neighbors and children and the vibe is just, it's just a happy place to live. It is. Anything um, else? Anybody have any other questions? If not, I think we're we're good, and and we'll send you uh, the brochure, the digital brochure that we do now for for all of our homes, um, and we'll send you um, you know any other information that pops up, and we'll keep in touch with everybody and let you know what's happening with this. And thank you, Denise. Thank you. This is so fun. I love seeing some of your Great videos. job, Denise. <laughs>
Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Kevin Curran. Stay Thanks, safe everybody. And everybody, get out in the sun. Please go out in the sun and enjoy this beautiful weekend. I'm going to grow my sideburns even more. I'm just yeah. going to keep, I was talking to Kevin. They're just getting, I keep feeling them, keep touching them. And then I'm like, oh my God, they're like down. They're going to be down to my shoulder soon. You know, I just keep going. <laughs> I know we're all going to come out of this like Mufasa. I know. Uh, exactly. uh, all right, everybody. Great talk. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you.